Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming this video today. I am back in my kitchen. There is no place in the world that I can cook like how I can cook in my kitchen. I'm so comfortable in and used to and I don't know, everything just flows right here. So in today's video guys, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what I have in my kitchen cupboards. Definitely do not feel that you have to run out to your local health store and buy every type of seed, nut and grain that there is. You don't have to do that. You can just work on things slowly, um, maybe start introducing a few of the foods that you see today and just make that transition in your own time. There is absolutely no rush, don't feel guilty guilty, don't feel pressured, um, just do do it the way that you feel to be best and um, yeah so let's get into the video guys, let me show you what I have in my kitchen cupboards. So into my first cupboard, I love dried butter beans though I always cook my butter beans from dried, um, I always cook most things from dried to be honest. Some chickpeas, throw in your curries, throw in your stews. You guys know I love my amaranth, love my amaranth porridge in the morning. It takes a little bit longer than something like oats. The red lentils, it's not always necessary to soak them. If you're short for time, then they are a type of lentil that will cook really easily. One of my favorite type of lentils are beluga lentils. When you're about to soak them, you wanna sort through them because they might have like tiny little Kind of stones in them to make sure you get all the debris out. Really, really special type of lentil, I think. Some wild rice. I've got a recipe in my ebook for wild rice. It's like a mushroom stir fry. Wild rice, and it is so good. That is one of my favorite ways to prepare it. So if you've got the ebook and you haven't tried that recipe, definitely give it a go. Black bean spaghetti. When I first tried it, I wasn't such a big fan, but I really like it now. Millet is not just bird's food, it's also human food. You can eat millet. Next, I have some black eyed peas. Make like a soup, just have it as a side dish. I've got some teff, tiny little teeny teeny seeds. I have recently been using as a porridge and it's really, really easy to cook. You just gotta kind of stay on top of things and be constantly stirring. I love, love, love adouki beans. So next up is spelt. So I think in my recipe ebook, one of my favorite recipes um, uses spelt brain with um, tahini curry dressing, which is just so good, so, so good. Got some bunga peas. <laughs> um, I got some pinto beans, a must have. You guys know I'm always using quinoa. Some oats, occasionally I'll have some porridge in the morning using oats. So now we're gonna look at the top shelf. Um, tamari, so we've got some apple cider vinegar. Also got a uh, manuka honey apple cider vinegar. Um, I've got some capers, I love throwing capers into dressings, just gives it a nice, a nice vibrant taste, a nice taste. Brown rice vinegar that I love um, dressing on my sea vegetables. I've got some olive oil that's basically done I use a lot of olive oil, um, some sesame seed oil, some coconut oil of course, I've got some coconut milk, you just want to look for a coconut milk that has literally coconut and water as the only ingredients. I always like to keep a jar of passata, I use it for curries and things like that and making pasta sauces. So I don't do tin beans often but I do have a couple of tins just in case I need them um, and I haven't prepared or soaked any kind of like the night before. I stay away from tin beans as much as possible. So we've got some seeds and nuts, so pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, more sesame seeds, black sesame seeds. These are just great things just to throw over whatever you're eating. Some cashews, walnuts. My favorite type of nut milk will always be almond milk. And I've got a huge collection of sea vegetables. So I have something called um, arami, nori, got some nori sprinkles, just sprinkle on top of whatever you're eating. I love wakami. It's got kind of like a subtle taste, I guess, compared to the others. I like making salads, wakami and cucumber salads in the summer. Kombu, which I use a lot actually when I'm cooking beans. I always add a strip of this. This will make your beans softer. It will um, break down the enzymes in the beans, so it will reduce bloating, it will reduce gas if you have gas when you eat beans. So I've got a few baking things. I've got some flax seeds, which if you don't eat eggs, you can make um, flax eggs or you can use chia seeds even. Sprouted whole spelt flour. Buckwheat flour, some chickpea flour there, which I use when I'm making my falafels. Some cacao butter. If 
if you're making like raw chocolate. So up here I've got a few nut butters and tahinis and things like that. I can just get through a jar of tahini like in a day. I like adding it to dressings. Like I mentioned earlier, um, my curry tahini dressing, which is one of my favorite recipes ever. I personally love um, light tahini. Some sunflower seed butter. So I've got a little bit of spelt pasta. If I do eat pasta, it will be like spelt or camu. And then I've just got some brown rice noodles here. So onto another cupboard here. I have some dried fruit. So I've got some raisins. I've also got some dried apricots. I always make sure that I buy organic apricots. Like the bright orange ones, they, they've um, been dipped in sulfur. So you wanna stay away from non-organic apricots. So I've got a big jar of desiccated coconut. You can make, gosh, I don't know, anything chocolatey that you love, you can make using raw cacao. Hemp seeds. Onto something that gets a name, um, a lot of people call superfoods. I don't really like to use that word. But I think superfoods is just a way of making things kind of more expensive. You know, you don't have to have these foods to start off with, um, it's something that you can just slowly introduce if you want. Um, so let me break it down for you. Let me show you what I've got. This is definitely not in one shopping trip that I would buy all of this. This is just over time. And sometimes to be honest, it gets put at the back of my cupboard and I'm like, oh my God, I've got some bowel back. Or, oh my God, I've got spirulina here. I haven't used that in like three months. Mm, I just love the smell of maca. Oh, I've got a few moringa seeds actually. I went through a phase of, um, like eating three first thing in the morning crack open three moringa seeds and then like just drink water down did i feel any different maybe um some spirulina um moringa powder some bee pollen some camu camu so in saint lucia i was having a lot of chlorella every morning i would just crack one open put it mix it with some coconut water and then drink it i literally felt the difference like i felt the electricity in my body um some cacao nibs um, some baobab powder goji love goji berries we have some sweeteners i can't eat dates whole i feel like they mess my teeth up and they make my teeth really really sensitive because they are so sweet another sweetener that i like is coconut palm sugar i love 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 Honey, 100% pure, raw, <laughs> local honey. Let's move on to the few herbs that I've got. I've got herbs also like upstairs around randomly. I just like herbs, so I keep them everywhere. But I've got some graviola tea. i have got nettle tea. These are actually my favorite tea bags from a company called Floridix. I find their herbs to be really, really good quality. If anyone ever tells me, oh, I've got a sore throat, I say, okay, grab some, grab some sage. Pour some boiling water over like a good serving of dried sage maybe a couple of tablespoons and let it sit mix in some honey and that is just going to soothe your throat i'm not going to go through my whole herb and spice cupboard but i'm going to show you what i use mostly so um, i use a lot of dried herbs in my cooking so a lot of oregano thyme rosemary i use a lot of cumin seeds I've got this brand called steambergs i kind of like their their mixes their blends so this is a tagine one and it's got coriander cinnamon chili allspice cloves paprika and cardamom then i've got some crushed chili cardamom i actually love adding cardamom to my nut milk paprika some turmeric then i've got things like cinnamon nutmeg you know the usual so i use um pink salt herb and there um salt and it's like a vegetable salt it's got like celery leek cress onion chives parsley garlic basil rosemary thyme um, and kelp some berbere sorry guys I probably am not saying it right, but I love using this wonderful blend. I love it. My absolute favorite, garam masala. <sighs> Gotta have some garam masala up in your cupboards, okay? So guys, that was my kitchen cupboard tour. I hope this gave you some inspiration for your next food shop um, and gave you some inspiration on how to kind of like organize your kitchen space as well so that you're motivated to obviously step into your kitchen and just get 
just get playful, take risks and and have some fun as well have some fun in your kitchen so um guys if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you guys want to share anything with me give me any tips on my kitchen cupboard space or kind of missing things that i should have then please leave a comment in the section below and yeah i will see you very very soon in my next video everybody take care see you bye bye